Hello, people of the world. Um, it has been five years since I've done a get ready with me video here on YouTube. Um, a lot has changed since my last video. I will link it up up here or up here. I don't know. I'm not a YouTuber. Um, but check it out, I guess, if you want to see the contrast of my life then and now. Um, yeah, so you're going to help me get ready to go absolutely nowhere. Basically, just to go to my couch. Uh, you're going to help me go to my couch. Um, I bought a shit ton of makeup yesterday. Spent $293.20 at Ulta. And that is simply unacceptable. And hopefully... Hopefully you kind humans agree to um, finance that for me, you know, um, by subscribing, following, liking this video. Um, <laughs> that way I could potentially monetize um, my channel at some point. And I'm not sure why the video, why the, why the focus keeps going in and out. Um, but I guess we shall get started with um the base i usually i don't use foundation anymore i use bb cream okay i think i think we're good i think we should not have any focus issues anymore um but yeah i don't use foundation anymore i use bb cream um yeah sometimes i put i still put expired makeup on my face um and it's not <sighs> My face isn't terrible, so um, I'm lucky. I know I'm lucky. Um, but this is the L'Oreal Paris. And I don't know how to fucking do this shit. This is L'Oreal Paris uh, Medium BB Cream. So I just put this on my fingers and I go all over my face. I don't use a lot. Um, I've already wet my beauty blender or my sponge, it's not a beauty blender. I don't know what the fuck it is. Um, it's an Eco Tools Plant Me sponge. And I just distribute that on my face. Um, so last time I made this video, or a video like this, I was in law school. I had just moved to Florida with my then girlfriend. Uh, Fast forward to 2023, um, that then girlfriend and I got married, got divorced, I graduated law school, I am now an attorney, have been an attorney for two years now. Um, so lots of changes in my life and yesterday was actually the one month anniversary of our divorce, still living with her plan on moving out next weekend um anyway i after after that i usually use concealer under my eyes i've been seeing that that method uh, a new method you know they always come out with new shit um where you don't do the whole triangle you just do a little bit on the edge, I think like underlining method. Just do a little bit on the edge. Which honestly, like that works for me because that means less product and less money overall that I would have to spend in the future. Um but yeah, so do that. Um, but yeah, I, I got divorced last month, spent Christmas in Missouri with a friend, it was actually um, my first boyfriend from middle school, <laughs> hadn't seen him in a decade, um, I just wanted to catch up. I was one of the unfortunate ones that got stuck. Thanks to all the flight cancellations. 
Um, so I was unable to make it back home in time. I was actually not planning to use any leave time for the holidays, but that didn't work out. Um, so I ended up staying in Missouri for an extra three days in St. Louis by myself because my friend lived an hour, or lives an hour and a half away from the airport. So I just had him drop me off as scheduled and then I booked an Airbnb and I explored. Um, but I actually had a great time in Missouri when I was exploring by myself. And also, okay, yeah, I also had a great time with my friend. It was really laid back, really chill. Um, but, so, yeah, and then New Year's. So I was intending to get back from Missouri to Florida and then catch a flight out of Orlando to go to Dallas, but that wasn't happening because there were absolutely zero flights available. So what ended up happening, and this is the Fenty Beauty um, matte powder, or Invisi matte powder. Um, and I just pick some up and put it on my face. But yeah, that didn't end up happening. I actually got a, a train to Dallas. I didn't even know there were trains. And then I went to visit one of my best friends um, who happened to be in Dallas as well. And we had a good time. We went to see an orchestra on New Year's Eve. And if you're wondering how I am doing mentally with all this, all these changes happening, um, everything's fine. I am literally that meme with the fire in the background and it's just, everything is fine, everything is fine. Um, I go to therapy, I've been going to therapy for years. Um, and it's just a lot of changes, you know, and he tries to help me through it, uh, help me talk through it. Um, I've been depressed for, I don't know for how long, but I think we both determined that I'm depressed. Um, this is the Airbrush Essentials Collection from Ulta Brown Lash. Pen, uh, brush. I got this yesterday. I replaced all my brushes because I feel like I've had the same brushes since the last video I made. That was five years ago. I'm surprised my face looks like this. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so something about me is I've noticed the new trend the new eyebrow trend that you're supposed to like brush all your shit up and I don't like that. I don't like it. I much prefer to brush it sideways like it's always been and and then just fill in the gaps. I don't like the new eyebrow trend. I think it looks weird but to each their own, you know? I won't do it on myself. I, I've i always had hairy brows, so I'm fortunate in that aspect. Then I also bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in color Ebony. Um, and to go with that, I also bought a brush, the Airbrush Essentials Collection Angled Liner Brush. It looks like this. So, um, yeah. Anyway, it's it's a roller coaster. Some days I feel great, 
others other days I feel like shit and I just I don't know I don't know what I'm supposed to be feeling at times you know like I feel I shouldn't care what other people think but unfortunately many times I feel like blame is put on me about everything and I won't go into details as to what happened I don't think I don't think we're there yet um, but I think the bottom line the bottom line is we both want different things in life and it hurt, you know, it really did hurt. It hurt. Um, but I don't even know how to act sometimes. I don't, I don't know, like, I know that there are nosy people out there. I'm one of them when I'm not in my shoes. <laughs> and, um, like, ever since the divorce, or really the separation, I've been hoeing around because I didn't get to do that. You know, this is, I'm 25. This is my first time being sick single as an adult and I did not get to hoe around um, so I've been hoeing around and it's like I feel the judgment and I'm not sure if it's just internalized um, insecurities <laughs> Where, like, I'm judging myself, therefore I think everyone is judging me. But... I don't know. And at times I feel like not only did I lose my person, sometimes I feel like I'm losing mutual friends because of that and I just know I I did nothing wrong I did nothing wrong and sometimes it just still hurts right um, okay so this is a mini controversy palette I've had this for longer than I wish to admit. <laughs> uh, I don't care. I paid a lot for it and the colors still work, so I'm going to use them. Um, so I bought this Airbrush Essential Collection Precision Shadow. Um, I also bought this Airbrush Essentials Collection Crease Blending Brush. And I bought this Airbrush Essentials Collection Smoky Liner Brush. This is the first one that I actually have to <laughs> do more work to open up. Um, but like I was saying, I... Alright, this is 
precision liner brush or smoky eye brush. I don't know sometimes how I'm supposed to feel. So I'm gonna go with this diet root beer color right here for the crease. Um, so yeah, I, I am depressed. I feel alone. I don't have family in Florida. I know I have friends in Florida, but it's just, they're mostly, I mean, they're, they're coworkers, right? And I can't expect my coworkers to want to see me during the weekend because they, it, to me, it represents work. Like I am a symbol of work and no one wants to be at work. So, I, I get it and I don't expect anyone to want to hang out with me on the weekend. Um, but I know I, I know I have a strong support system. I know that, but I'm like, I know I have it yet. I still feel lonely. It's like I'm in a crowd of people and I feel lonely. And it's because, you know, I, I lost, I lost the one person that was near me that at least I believed loved me unconditionally. And I don't have anything close to family here in Florida. Like I don't have anyone that feels like family. I mean, I do have like certain besties here, but once again, like if there was an emergency, I wouldn't want to be a burden <laughs> on any of those people, right? Like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm the type of person that I feel lonely yet I push people away, right? So. I used to think I had um, borderline personality disorder because I'm just like that, but I don't think I have that and my therapist hasn't mentioned it, so. Um, all right, now that I'm done with the crease for now, I'm gonna go in with my apology on my lid. But yeah, and you know, I, I, oh, also, I started a tarot card reading business. You can go follow my channel right here, um, where I sometimes, very rarely, post uh, pick a card readings. Um, I guess I could have done a cut crease on this, but I'm lazy, and I don't have a cut crease brush, you know? Um, but yeah, I, um, I feel lonely, but I push people away at work. I got promoted. I now handle felonies and I'm not going to lie, you know, I sometimes don't feel like I fit in, um, There's always that fear of judgment, of being judged, and then people thinking that I'm an incompetent attorney. Um, I'm 25, and with that, you know, that's a blessing and a curse, right? Like, the blessing in that I'll be very young, um, like, in, you know, 10 years into the career, I'll still be like in my early 30s. But it's a curse in that people look at me and they think, you know, oh, this, she doesn't know what she's doing. She's too young, right? So, um, and I'm gonna go in again with the blending brush and I'm gonna 
but more of that diet root beer shadow to deepen the crease. Um, but yeah, and this video is all over the place. <laughs> And I'm at 20 minutes, so. Um, I've been, I started my TikTok. Um, I have both a tarot as well as, as well as a personal TikTok. I will link them down below. Um, I've been posting about the dates that I've been in, the dates that I've been on, and I've been having a really good time just going on dates. All right, now for the bottom lash, I'm gonna go in with Controversy this shadow right here controversy um yeah so i've been posting about my dates i've been posting about my travels i want to travel a lot more um if you don't know i i was waiting on my ex-wife to come back from training from the military um, for a good two years and I was trying to save up all my weave time for her and clearly that didn't work so I decided fuck it I'm doing whatever the fuck I want now that I don't have to wait for anybody and I'm going on I'm going on a trip to Hawaii by myself. Um, and I'm excited. I am so excited. It's going to be great. It's going to be a, it's a solo trip. I've never taken a solo trip. Missouri was a practice run, I think. That the universe wanted to give me. And then I'm very embarrassed to show this, but this is hella old and it's a highlighter trio. I don't even know who it's from, to be honest. Yeah, sorry. But I did buy a highlighter brush. Um. So yeah, I, I am struggling with depression and I, I'm not too sure how depression works. I haven't really talked much about it with my therapist, but mine is a type that I'm aware of it when I'm still. Hence, I try to not be still, ever. Sorry, I um, I got a call um, from someone. I'm working on something, I'll reveal it later. I, just, I don't want to bring any like bad juju or negative intent into what I'm working on. So anyway, I, I got this brush. Um, but yeah, so when I'm, depressed I'm the type of person to just fill up my plate with a lot of shit to the point where I start drowning <laughs> and that's basically where I am at the moment um, but anyway from this dirty ass old ass highlighter trio I'm going to use uh, this color the gold one and I'm gonna put it here I don't know why I started with highlighter. I usually go with blush first. Um, 
But yeah, I just, I guess this is what being single is, right? I mean, I'm starting to realize that all single people are just out there um, avoiding talking about their feelings, avoiding um, their issues, and simply just seeking out orgasm. That's, that's what I've come to discover in my very short time of being single and dating. All right, sorry once again, that was another phone call. Um, but yeah, everyone's out there avoiding their own trauma, their own feelings, and simply just seeking out orgasms. That's what I've learned so far. Um, but yeah, it's, it's missing, you know, being single, I've come to realize, is also about like not having that one rock, you know, that one person, that one human to like talk it all out with and, and be there for you unconditionally. And that part sucks. And I'm, you know, uh, Miley Cyrus came out with that new song. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like, I can love me better than you can type thing. That, that needs to be my motto for 2023. Um, all right, next we're going to go over, we're going to put on the Too Faced Cloud Crush blush in color Velvet Crush. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. And I also bought a blush brush, of course, because what else was I gonna do with my money, right? Other than spend the hell out of it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if people are judging me or if it's simply my personal, like, internalized my personal in internalized insecurities about the situation and what happened. Um, oh, it smells so good. It smells good. So this is like the new trend where you're like contouring with your blush and I'm not mad at it, you know? Yeah, but this smells good. I don't know, can you just tell any difference? <laughs> I feel like I just look pink. Uh, because I didn't put on foundation, but I don't put foundation on anymore. You know, I don't have bad skin, thankfully. All right, done with blush. Um, I don't know. Can you tell anything? I don't fucking know. Um, what else? Eyeliner, duh. Um, I bought this better, Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. I didn't know that the Better Than Sex line had eyeliner. I thought it was just mascara. Um, so we'll see what this is about. It's supposed to last 24 hours and I won't be testing that. <laughs> I'm just using this mirror over here. I like how precise the brush is, like the tip. All right, one, one eye down, another to go. This is stressful, but yeah, I mean, it's stressful. Um, I am not a booty guru. Uh, uh, 
or as Jenna Marbles would say, a YouTuber. By any means, I'm just a bitch on YouTube trying to make up for the fact that I don't have anyone else to talk to. Um, I feel like this wing is more of a wing and this is more of a, I don't know. Like this is a bird wing, this is a plane wing. <laughs> this one is, it has a little like wave to it, whereas my right eye is just straight. Oh well. Sisters, not twins. Am I right? Um, so eyeliner is done. Now I got mascara. And this is the Tarte Men Eater Mascara. Looks like this. Um, but yeah, let's see. What have I been doing in my spare time when I don't have anyone to talk to? I've been fucking around. We already established that. And I've also been driving for Uber Eats. Because I got used to a two-income household. And I am not about to make sacrifices. <laughs> well, I guess me driving for Uber Eats is somewhat of a sac sacrifice. Like, I am working more after working all day instead of just, like, chilling like I used to. Um, but I don't do it that often. I did go a week where I was, like, doing it every fucking day after work. And I feel like I made myself sick. I was so tired. I was so fucking tired. Um, I don't think that these, this mascara is that good, to be honest. Um, maybe it's because the eyeliner is covering it. But I just, I don't think it provides volume. Rolling. I think it just coats my eyelashes black. Something else that I um, have planned in the upcoming days or weeks is I'm going to El Salvador to visit my parents. Um, and also I got the Kylie Cosmetics clothes. What's it called? Oh my god, I think I'm going blind. It's not on there. It is closed mint. But it's not on here. Wow. Um It's been a while since I bought a Kylie Cosmetics thing. Oh. It goes on very smoothly. Not gonna lie. You know, I love my parents, but sometimes I wish, you know, I wish they had Trust fund money. That would be great. I think I'm done with my face. What do you think? I think it looks like shit because I'm not a makeup. I'm not a YouTuber, okay? I'm not a YouTuber. Um, I also bought nail polish. And I guess I'm gonna do my nails while I talk to you guys. Um, it's just an OPI nail polish in black. Um, 
Um, but I don't know. Comment down below if you have any questions for me. Uh, something else that I've noticed is ever since I announced that I'm single again, I've gotten a shit ton of DMs from high school people. Um, some of them are just being nosy, and others are trying to shoot their shot. <laughs> And I am not interested in dating anyone from my past. I'm also not interested in any long-term relationships right now. There are exceptions if I believe that the opportunity is too good to pass up. And there's like two people that come to mind. Um, my therapist recently started his own, his own practice and thankfully I was able to transition with him, but he had us fill out this questionnaire by as I mean his patients and I was shocked at how fucking sad all my answers were like and there were yes or no questions and I was being honest sometimes at times I don't want to be big corrected um, but I was like god damn like I am sad and that's the thing like that's another thing Sometimes I feel judged because, you know, how can I be sad if I'm like hoeing around? Or how can I be sad if a lot of time has passed already? Or how can I be sad if you had a role in, you know, your relationship and your divorce? Like, bitch, let me be sad. I don't know. It also just feels like old news, you know, like... Um, this is, I, I'm currently doing my nails. I'm sorry, I don't have a camera that overlooks the table. Otherwise, I would show you the shitty job that I'm doing. <laughs> Another interesting thing is that I am not straight, but I'm also not a lesbian, right? And the amount of people that have been like, oh, you're dating guys now? Yes, yes, I'm dating guys because I like guys. I also like women and non-binary people. Um, but I don't be matching with them on Tinder for some reason. That's not my fault and I don't know I don't know any women in real life that I would hook up with because I have a type and that's okay. Another thing that I feel pressure about is not appearing too sad. <laughs> Done with the second nail, or second. And not appearing too sad. Because if I appear too sad, then everybody's gonna tar start talking shit about how sad I am. But then, then if I'm happy and enjoying myself, everybody's talking shit about how I'm happy and enjoying myself. It's just like, there's no winning in this situation at all. Um. Another thing, I'm a divorced woman. At this time, I want to step away 
from the person whom I divorced. I don't have an interest in being besties at this time. I can be cordial. I can be friendly. But I do not wish to have a relationship, friendship, that exceeds or extends out past co-parenting, you know, our cat and our dog, or the bills, or anything like that. Like, I am there for her if she needs me, and I know she is there for me, but I'm, I, I just have no interest in like spending time together because I'm hurt and I need to move on. And the only, the only ways that I've moved on in the past from my previous relationships when I was a child is by putting some distance between us and I don't think all my friends understand that. So it's tough, right? Um, but yeah. Uh, this video is a lot, I feel like it's a lot more depressing than the last one. I will say that the last one is also depressing. Uh, as I was watching it one of these days, I was like, God damn, I feel so bad for me. But yeah, life is a cycle. Of ups and downs and there were so many ups in the five years that I didn't update y'all and I think right now I'm starting to come up from a down from a low point so um, I hope everyone has a great 2023 and see y'all when I see y'all I'm not gonna promise any videos because I probably won't keep my promise.